Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Drive Clean. I'm Larry from AmmoNYC.com, and over this next week, I'm gonna be participating in one of the most brutal things that you can do to your car. And of course, I'm talking about the one lap of America. Now, the fun part is, I'm doing it with one of my closest and best friends, and you might just know who he is. So what did you bring me? What up? What's up, son? I brought you a 2012 BMW X5M, and uh, this is my one-lap ride. You're driving that Ferrari. I am. Which sounds like a really good idea until day three when you're miserable. <laughs> and I am driving this, and there's a couple reasons I decided to bring this car. My back is shot, and so I want something comfortable. It's, uh, it holds all my stuff. It's all-wheel drive, 555 horsepower. In fact, this is the fastest production SUV you can bring. Plus, all of the hardcore racers, you know, the, the pro guys, yeah. they're all driving sports cars, and I'm in the SUV class, so we might actually get a trophy out of nice. it. Nice. never know. Yeah. So I figured, you know, since I use ammo and stuff in my car in LA, but it, like, never rains there, mm -hmm. uh, you know, one lap is pretty much the most abusive thing you could do to a car. 4,000 miles of driving, eight track days, who knows what the weather's going to be. I thought it would be an interesting idea if we divide the car in half, and you do one half of the car with ammo, and we leave the other one. I don't think there's anything really on this right now. No. Uh, it feels pretty raw, dog. Yeah. So you want to try it, and then we'll we'll evaluate 4,000 miles and, and a week and a half later and see what happens. I like that idea. We're gonna well, let's wash it down. Start from you know from nothing from scratch basically. Right. Run that uh, piece of tape up there, like you said, one side with ammo skin, ammo cream. When well, you think driver's side gets the ammo, right? Yeah. If you want to look pretty while you're driving. Well, what do you, you know. <laughs> There's not much that can improve this, but some wax might help. All right, so we'll do that. I actually hit the rims, too, with some Armor All wheel protectant stuff. Mm -hmm. I heard that's pretty good. And then, uh, I don't know, what is it going to be, 5,000 miles? Because I'm driving home from, where am I driving home from? South Bend, Indiana. Oh, it's going to be brutal. Yeah. So, driving home, and we'll see what happens afterwards. You know what the best part about this is? Mm, what? Not my car. Nice. Let's we get do it done. this, we give it right back. It's going to be brilliant. Let's get it done right now. All right. Well, let, by let's, I mean you. I'm going to be over here. <laughs> All right. Matt and I originally thought about leaving the masking tape on the car for the entire trip. But as we drove from New York to the start finish line in South Bend, Indiana, we noticed that the masking tape was peeling up and flapping in the wind. So we simply pulled it off before the race and added the stickers after we arrived. But before we left for Indiana, I added a thick layer of sealant, let it cure, then a thin layer of carnauba wax on top for some serious protection. Next, I coated the driver's side rims with Armor All Wheel Protectant to really put these products to the ultimate test. I mean, think about it, a total of 5,000 miles and eight plus track days without washing it. I'm not sure who was tortured more, the BMW or me, because I couldn't wash it for the entire trip. My brain nearly exploded. So once we finished, Matt, Mike, and I were off to the one lap of America. Mike Musso from Big Muscle. That's Matt Farrow from Tune. And I'm gonna show you what we've done to this car. Remember, we split the car into two pieces. Down the middle, the driver's side has the good stuff on it. The passenger side doesn't have anything. And we're, we're gonna show you how it's protected. And also the wheels, I'll show you the rims. They look amazing on the, on the driver's side and not so good on the other side. That, that means that armor all is really working out nicely. So we're gonna check that out in a minute. But after this race, we have a 400 mile leg back to our hotels and it all starts all over again. So that's day one here at One Map of America. Uh, Mike's, Mike's training on the iPad right now. It's all about technology. Driving a car that can do everything. So we just drove 600 miles and we're all freaking beat. Look at this My guy. life, I'm so tired. Yes, this is horrible, it's raining. But I said I would do more videos. We're completely beat. There's a few more one lap people. It's 
very obvious that uh, this shit is working. I know I keep showing it to you, but I mean, how often do you get to drive 5,000 miles to test a product? So that stuff actually works. And the uh, if you look here, believe it or not, on the top part, the beading is much smaller, which means there's thicker amount of sealant and cleaner on there. This right. person really has something wrong with him. I'm about to <laughs> die of exhaustion right now. Just talking about f***ing detailing. Yeah, man, it's important. Is it different? Can you yeah, tell? see the tiny little beads here versus like the big nasty shit over here? It's These actually beading up. smaller and more uniform. Right? Exactly, that means there's, this means there's a uh, thicker Every sealant. Every car got washed today except ours. Yes. So. Yes, every I, car. I seriously feel like I have brain damage right now. <laughs> get out of the way. I gotta go this way. You go this way. Let me get in. So, tell us how you feel. Like shit. I had food poisoning before I got here, the flight was crappy, and now I've got the flu. And on top of which, my head doesn't fit in the car. I have to go in the recess for the sunroof. <laughs> so I'm kind of driving like this. The After that, challenge. we're all good. We're going to drive 650 miles tonight, but I wanted to show you the car beforehand. There's Lee Keen in his 750 horsepower GTR, and he's cruising. So come on in. Let's check it out. Remember, this side over here, we didn't put any uh, armor all wheel protectant on there. Get nice and low. Check this out. It is pretty filthy right there. We'll pan around to the front of the car and check out all the bugs. Almost look like birds. Look at the size of that thing. And then we go to this one over here where we put the armor all in and it's looking pretty good. It's starting to get dirty, but in between the dirt, you can actually see that it's clean, which means to me that I could probably put maybe another thick layer on there uh, next time and it may even keep it cleaner. But remember, we've already, I think we've done, I don't know, 2,000 miles so far or 1,500. So that's pretty sweet. And we've been racing the hell out of this car. So I'm, I'm very happy with that product. I'm Lee Keen and you're watching Drive Clean. What's up guys, day five of One Lap of America. We're here in Nebraska, Hastings Racetrack. Of course you got the SRT8 Jeep, which is the main competition here for the X5M. Now, I'm gonna show you what, what are we on? Uh, maybe 3,000 miles so far. Check out the wheels, again. We got the ones that we put the armor all. Getting a little dirty, but nothing compared to the other side. And speaking of dirty, you got Matt Farah and Mike Musto. We're dirty? Why are we dirty? That's not very nice to say. <laughs> now come around to this side over here. I mean, they drive dirty. Drive dirty? Wait a minute. This side is completely filthy. That's pretty dirty. It's pretty bad. It's filthy, actually. Oh, it's that's some BMW brake dust right there. BMW brake dust. So what are you going to do about it? Clean it? We're going to clean it up when we get back. You know what I'm going to do about it? What? This. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this line for autocross. There's that's like 50 cars in it. So what do you think? We'll be here for another hour. We'll be here forever. We have to drive 600 miles. 16. 616. 616 miles. Isn't that? You realize you didn't get one drop of water on? I know it's amazing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I repel water. day seven and we're packing up and ready to go and we've had some issues with the x5m in terms of the brakes but other than that the car has been spectacular so come on in let me show you how the wheels look check this out this is the side that's been uh, hasn't been treated here look how dirty this is and we're on close to close to 4,000 miles this side here has the armor on again again 4,000 miles of absolute torture and still pretty much holding up 
<laughs> That's all we got left is one more day. We have an autocross and then from South Bend all the way back to New York. So stay tuned for day eight. Day eight, the last day. So we've driven 10 states in eight days, roughly 4,000 miles. Now this X5M has been incredible. It actually came in 30th out of 80 cars. And remember, we're racing against almost full-on race cars and this is a stock SUV. This car is absolutely amazing. But what I need to do now is drive 843 miles from South Bend, which was the start finish, all the way back to New York. And I'll show you guys how the car looks afterwards and we'll wash it, we'll go over all the techniques right now. Obviously washed thousands and thousands of wheels, but what I really wanted to test and see is if the Armor All wheel protectant made it easier to return these tortured rims back to perfect condition in just two or three minutes of normal washing. So here's what I did. First, rinse down the wheel to remove any loose brake dust. Next, I added a few squirts of wheel cleaner to help release embedded grime. Next, we take our spoke wheel brush, get some suds on there, it's working. I like to go in and out and spin at the same time. Yeah. That's just the back of the wheel, that noise that you're hearing. Get in there, my wash mitt. Put it on my hand and get in there. This is really coming off much easier than I thought it would. Just like this. Put your hand in there. Now the next thing I like to do is grab my uh, caliper brushes. Get in there and just agitate a lot of the dirt so it just falls off. You can use the cone as well for various parts of the caliper. Take my lug nut brush and get into the areas that I can't get with my fingers. Look at all the dirt coming out of there. I'll get the space in between the wheel and the tire. There's always a little bit of junk that comes out of there. Yeah, look, look at all the stuff. And then I'll go around the uh, air intake and get into this rubber. Open up all the pores of the rubber. Take your fender wall brush, get in there and just scrub everything down. You'll see it's all coming down uh, the sides of the fenders on the inside here. Last thing you want to do, rinse down the wheel. If your paint is properly sealed and protected, removing baked on bugs should be a cinch. This is a bug scrubber. I have my wheel, uh, excuse me, I have my wash brush, uh, wash bucket, and my uh, soap bucket. So the two bucket method, everybody's heard of that. And I actually put another little bit of uh, soap within the scrub brush. Uh, now, this soap here is different than the wheel soap that we talked about before. This is what I call foam, and it's very pH balanced and it's safe. Now, a lot of guys will do uh, a couple of things. You can either use a all-purpose cleaner, what they call insect remover, and spray it on here uh, like this, and let it sit for a few minutes. Not a bad idea. Um, what I recommend uh, is definitely waxing it afterwards because this is gonna strip a little bit more than uh, you'd like. Uh, but with the use of the insect remover or all-purpose cleaner uh, and this, you should get all of these off. But what I like to do as well um, is use the foam gun and foam down the entire car, because I'm gonna wash the entire car, of course, um, and this will actually loosen a lot of the stuff. But for now, we're gonna keep this to the side. So the first thing I wanna do, rinse the car down and use the scrub, and we'll just do half the car, and I'll show you how quickly it comes off and how safe it is. You wanna do straight line motions. When you start getting into circles like this, a lot of uh, issues can occur. Does it happen all the time? No, but I like to play it safe. You guys know my theory here. So I go straight line, you can go up and down, or straight line. And as you can see, it's picking up all the bugs. 
and you have to be a little bit more aggressive than you would be, let's say, if you were just normally washing the car and it wasn't pummeled like this is. And as you can see, it's coming off. It's getting caught in these little um, you know, X's and O's that are right here, and uh, it basically just sort of picks off the, uh, the bugs that are stuck on the, shell, on the uh, surface of the, of the paint here. So we'll keep going. These bug sponges are pretty cool, so I uh, highly recommend doing that if you have tons of roadkill like this on your car. Time to say goodbye to the BMW X5M. This is an absolutely incredible SUV, and I soon won't forget driving around the country and spending time with old friends. And I don't mean the state troopers. Watch and learn how smooth-talking Matt Farah wiggles off the hook in Oklahoma. If I get the registration on the glove no, box, I, I, actually, all I need is the proof of insurance. Oh, okay. You know, uh, I, um... Uh, give me one second here. Nothing sketchy in the glove box. We're going to Hallett, yeah, and we got 88 miles to go, and we have to be at the track at 6 a.m., and the sooner I get there, the sooner I get to go to bed, if you know what I'm saying. Right? That's a window sticker. Here you go. Registration insurance. So, as you can see, you know, uh, BMW North America owns the car. I'm testing it on the course of this event for them. Okay. And so, tickets, my employer does not like that very much. Okay. So. I All would right. I would very much appreciate it if you would be kind and, I'll and see cut what, me I'll, a break. I'll see what I can do, okay? Okay. If you would just stay in the vehicle, I'll be right back. I'm not you. going anywhere, man. Right. But you see I pulled over before he even turned his lights on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you know you're busted, just pull yeah. right over. Man. Are you doing it? Are you doing what? I didn't even look at what you're doing. What did, what did he say, 75? 76? Oh, of course I was going 76. Why would I not be going 76? This is, it was so fucking stupid of me to agree to be up front. Of all the people in this entire group, I should not be the one up front. Sincere. There he is. Okay, here's your driver's license, proof okay. of insurance back. I did issue a warning for your speed today. Okay, um, I appreciate you cutting me a break, sir. No, just, I'll take it easy the rest of the way. Yeah, I just, just Make sure you're watching your speed, slow down yeah. a little bit. Just you know, take it down just a little bit for me. This thing, 555 horsepower, and is it's it just, really? yeah, it's twin turbo, and it's, it is like smooth as silk. You don't even really know, and, yeah. uh, you know. I'm just trying to get there and get some sleep. Well, you were, you were leading the pack, so I, saw, I think I saw a Ferrari in there. There was a Ferrari in there. <laughs> Next time I'd appreciate if you pull over the Ferrari. Well, he's not, he's not <laughs> he, the one I got. He can afford the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's doing, he was going, I think he was at like 68. The rest of the pack, um, you know, once once I got you, everybody, yeah. everybody's radar detector went off. Everybody of course. Everybody dynam dynamited the brakes. So how well, did you do that? So do you actually flip it on? It's instant on. Yeah, instant on. Our, our radars, um, at least for our agency, the Highway Patrol, our radars are not on until I push the button. Right. Once I push the button, it has your speed immediately. Well, usually cops so, are lazy and just sit on the side of the road and leave it on. Yeah. But, but you how see, did you... You so, see cars with stickers and you go, uh, these guys know. I'm going to use you instant didn't see on. A, you just saw a car and you're just like, oh, I'm just going to test it. But you didn't see him and like, oh, I'm going to try to get him type of thing? Or were you just well, like... Here, there's here's, a here's the deal. Our, our radar, is, um, the first speed it gets is going to be the... The front vehicle. Yeah. Okay. And you were the front vehicle when I. When so I you just happened to flip on. it on. You weren't like, oh, how could you possibly see stickers on the car? No, he didn't no, see I stickers didn't on see the. Stickers. No, 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 he I didn't just, see I stickers. I just saw headlights. Yeah. I check, I check, I'm checking everybody that's coming. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I didn't check you guys just because. I mean, yeah. You were a pack of cars. Right. I was checking everybody. Yeah. And I get on the highway and I see a car. I hit the radar and. Um, yeah. And of course, you dynamited the brakes when your radar detector went off. And of course, I did because I'm, I am well, I am well trained in these matters. All right. But uh, unfortunately, we uh, the way we work our radars kind of gets gets around radar detectors. Yeah. So. Well, thanks for being fair. Okay. I appreciate it. I'll take it easy on the way in. All right. Have a safe All right. Day. You All too. Right, nice you. Thank you. Thoughts, Matthew. And is that a headlight? Oh, is it? That's it's a, a garbage truck. truck. Okay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you talk your way out of a speeding ticket in Kansas. Registration. Written warning, FTW. Farah out.